You've probably heard one of these once or twice in your life. You must wait 30 minutes to swim after eating or you'll get a stomach ache. When you die, your hair and fingernails keep growing. In order to stay healthy, you have to drink eight glasses of water a day. There are a million of these, but the thing is, most medical myths are just that. They're myths. In this video, we are going to take a look at five famous medical myths using Human Anatomy Atlas. Myth number one, if you pull out a gray hair, two more will grow back in its place. It's probably crossed your mind whenever you find a silver strand hiding in your hair, but I'm happy to report there's no truth to this myth. Hair grows through something called a hair follicle, which is an organ in the dermal layer of the skin. Normally, only one hair grows per follicle, so if you pluck one, only one will grow back. There are, of course, exceptions. The rare disorder Pili Multigemini occurs when multiple distinct hairs grow from a single follicle. Well, that's one part of the myth debunked, but if you pluck a gray hair, will it turn the ones around it gray too? No. Hair turns gray when the pigment cells in a follicle die. If you pluck a gray hair, it won't affect the surrounding hair's pigment cells. The surrounding hairs will turn gray only once their own pigment cells die. So, if you pluck a gray hair, only one will grow back in its place. But, because the pigment cells will be dead in the follicle, it will grow back gray. If you celebrate Thanksgiving, you've probably heard that tryptophan is the reason you feel so lethargic after eating turkey. I'm afraid this is another myth. L-tryptophan is an essential amino acid and one that gets a bad rap every November. It's used to produce niacin, a B vitamin that plays a role in digestion, as well as keeping your nerves and skin healthy. It's also involved in the process of cellular metabolism. Our bodies can't produce tryptophan on their own, so we get it from the foods we eat. But does ingesting tryptophan make you sleepy? Nope. While tryptophan is found in turkey, it's also found in foods like cheese, chicken, eggs, and fish. Believe it or not, Soybeans contain twice as much tryptophan as turkey does. The reason you feel so tired after eating on Thanksgiving is because, well, you just ate a lot of food. When you overeat, the digestive system needs a lot of energy to process all of that food. As Don Jackson Blattner, spokeswoman for the American Dietetic Association says, don't incriminate the turkey that you ate, incriminate the three plates of food that you piled high. Myth number three, urine is sterile. This is something you might have seen in survivalist movies and TV shows. Someone runs out of water and is, ugh, forced to drink their own urine, claiming it's safe because it's sterile. But you guessed it, this is another myth. Urine is a waste byproduct filtered out of your blood by the kidneys. Nephrons are the basic functional unit of the kidneys, and each of your kidneys has about one million nephrons. They filter blood to regulate the concentration of water and soluble substances. They reabsorb what's needed and excrete the rest of it as urine. But the urine they get rid of actually isn't sterile. Usually clinicians see the presence of bacteria as an indication of an infection. But scientists have found that bacteria is present in the bladders of healthy individuals, kind of like how there's always bacteria in your gut. The bacteria found in the bladder are part of the urinary microbiota. A microbiota are the microorganisms found in a particular site. So, the next time you're lost in the woods, please refrain from drinking your own urine. It just isn't safe. Myth number four, cracking your knuckles causes arthritis. Knuckle cracking can be an annoying habit, but can it lead to arthritis? Arthritis isn't one disease. It refers to inflammation and stiffness in the joints, which can get worse with age. But cracking your knuckles doesn't actually lead to it. Between your joints is a thick fluid called synovial fluid, which lubricates the joints and cuts down on friction between bones. Bubbles can form in the synovial fluid and when bones are pulled apart from each other, like when you bend your fingers back, the bubbles pop. This is the cracking sound you hear. 
Several studies have compared arthritis rates in those who crack their knuckles and those who don't, and these studies found no difference between the two. While cracking your knuckles may not lead to arthritis, it's still not a great habit. A 1990s study found that cracking your knuckles can lead to a decrease in grip strength over time. Myth number five, we only use 10% of our brains. This is probably the most pervasive myth on the list. It's been around for at least a century. I think it's safe to say the brain is the most complex organ in the body. It performs hundreds of conscious and unconscious tasks every day. But are we really missing out on 90% of its potential? I'm happy to report that we use much more than just 10% of our brains. According to neurologist Barry Gordon at Johns Hopkins School of Medicine in Baltimore, the staying power of this myth is most likely due to the way we perceive our own shortcomings. We see them as untapped potential. But the thing is, we use virtually every part of the brain, and most of it is active all the time. Neuro researchers using imaging technology have found that over the course of a 24-hour period, we use 100% of the brain. Even when we're sleeping, the brain is still hard at work. The thalamus, medial prefrontal cortex, and posterior cingulate cortex are part of the network of structures involved in dreaming. So fear not, you use all of your brain all of the time, and any perceived shortcomings are not evidence that you have untapped brain potential. You are extraordinary just as you are. What other medical myths can you think of? Leave them in the comments below. If you liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe. We post tons of interesting walkthroughs of anatomy, physiology, pathology, and biology. Visit our website at www.visiblebody.com to learn more.